Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Record of Records War. In the last episode, we went to Arapugus and we fought Keith and we defeated him. And he told us that Vashdor has left to go to Archer's Point, which is all the way over there. Uh, before we go into that, though, we want to take care of this event here. And do not, I repeat, do not go to this event here first. Because if you do, this event goes away. You don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and move out here to Bygone Footstep. So let's go ahead and move out there. What could possibly require all three of you to come see me at once? Well, I suppose it's better than one at a time. I suspected you would say something like that. You must be more honest with your feelings. And so must we. Enough of your foolishness. We are taking this seriously, and you and you would be wise to do so as well. I am sorry for being so sudden, but there are things we must ask you. There is something strange about the three of you, but if all you want is serious questions, then I shall oblige. As you guys can tell, this is love writing this adjustment right now. It's about time we actually saw this, because, well, <laughs> it's like right at the end of the, end of the generation here. To be serious is not enough. You must be honest as well. I wish to help you. There is no point if you will not allow yourself to be helped. For both of us, please be yourself, instead of some facade you hide behind. And now we got, I will do my best. I'm already myself. If you want to answer, I'm already myself. Hilda's goes up. Sylvie's goes up, and Rhea's goes down. I see. I suppose I shall have to accept that for who this is who you are, through and through. That being said, I know for a fact that Darren can be kind and considerate. You needn't bear the weight of the world on yourself. Will you let me share, share the load? Will you bear the, this burden with me, or I cannot ask you to do that? If you want to answer, I cannot ask you to do that, which is really sad. I kind of wish I chose the other option, but, eh, what can you do? I, see, you really are too kind. A person cannot survive alone. Traveling with you has shown me this. I'll bet, perhaps too late. Is it not wonderful to have someone at, at your side to hold your hand, to share your joy and your pain? Not in the least, if you say so. We want to choose not in the least, which is really another one of those moments of like, really? Why would I choose that? Stubborn until the very end, I see. Impressive in a strange way. Very well, keep thinking that way forever then. You have not changed at all. You are just as rebellious and unruly as we first met. And we got your point? Leave me alone. We want to choose, leave me alone. <laughs> that's just like, really, that, I, I just like that, like, really, that's an answer? Be as rebellious as you wish, but leave immaturity to the children. It is tiring for the rest of us. The sky is so free, Duran. Flight lets you leave all your cares behind. Would you like to fly with me? Freedom does not exist. I hate heights. <laughs> we want to choose, I hate heights. Honestly, all of Duran's answers are just, like, really rude, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> but there we go. You cannot let a small thing like that hold you back. If that is all, then you must give it a try. You needn't worry, you'll have me with you. I know I am in no position to say you are dishonest with yourself, as women may be freer with their lies. But in that sense, would you not say that you are, you and I are alike? How are we alike? Perhaps you are right. Why don't you just, how are we alike? Gosh, like, a lot of these answers are just like, really? I would never say something like that, to be honest. <laughs> how delightful. It seems I know you too, as well as I know myself, even if you do not. Should you answer unfavorably, it is no one's fault but my own for wasting so much time on you. I care little for suggestions and sideways glances. Tell me, honestly, what do you think of me? I've never thought about it. I do not hate you. 
We want to choose, I do not hate you. And with that, everybody's is five except Sylvie. <laughs> I do not hate you. I take it that you are leaving me to discern your meaning. <laughs> but you cannot blame me for the conclusions I draw. If you if you were in the one if you were the one with a vague answer. I know I have done little for you, but if you will let me, I would like to stay by your side. I want you to be with me. I need you to help me. I want you to, the answer is I want you to be with me. That'll make Sylvie five, Riru four. It'll make Hilda five, Sylvie five, Riru four. What? Did you say? Yes, of course I will. But are you sure? I mean, I look forward to it. <laughs> I can see there is someone whose shadow walks beside you. Is there someone close to your heart? Yes and no. We want to choose yes. So. That'll go up. So these will go down. Rio Rios will go up too. Now all the women are level 5. A good answer. You would be wise to accept what will happen when, in, when the time comes. Whatever may happen, what I feel for you in my heart will never turn sour. You must say what you feel. Uh, you are all far too inquisitive for your own good. You cannot bring yourselves to simply leave me alone. But, thank you. Oh, hush. Gratitude is not like you. You needn't worry. We did this because we wished to. You must have more confidence in yourself. After all, I believe in you. She is right. No matter what m you may say, we will be with you until the end. You are right. I have complained and resisted for, far for long enough. I will run from my destiny no longer. With the three of you by my side, I have nothing to fear. I will follow in the footsteps of my father, and those before him. I will cast this darkness from the world. Now that we are done with the love rating adjustments, now all that's left is the event here at Archer's Point. As you guys can tell, as the, as the, as the last generation, uh, like each generation beforehand, this is, the, this is the event battle of the generation, so let's move out. Eh, fast far. So you've come as la you've come at last. Durin! Ellis, are you alright? I'm fine. You betrayed us, Fashtor. Why? Betrayal? Surely you jest. What need has a ser servant of Sumero for you? One might as well speak of betraying ants. <laughs> your acting was excellent. I had no doubts of, about your loyalty or our friendship. Were you simply waiting for this opportunity to reveal your true nature? I have no reason to answer your foolish question. Give Ellis back to us. You may be a guard, but if we do battle, not even you will remain unscathed. I doubt you will make it easy for us. So I propose an exchange. My bracelet of the covenant for Ellis. I'd rather good deal, yes? Winfield, are you mad? You must not do that! I must, and I will. If a woman is in peril, I must do whatever it takes to save her. Even if it means the end of the world. As you wish, drop your weapons and approach. As you command. Winfield. Dude, you're gonna cause the end of the world. No! Right. Oh, fur. Hey. 
Ellis, run! <laughs> Fast door was tracked. A deception worthy of my ilk. Very well. I shall take the rainbow shard and be done with you for now. You are done with nothing. I will not be your opponent. Another Gurg. Really? Dude, you had your own lackey to do your own dirty work. Deal with him. Fast door! Clutch that life of yours to your chest now, for I will soon return to take it. Find joy with it in the time you have. Darn it, fast door. Very well, but allow me to take care of this one first. So now we're fighting another Gurg. It's been like this almost every generation, except the third one. Why we have to fight a Gurg at the end of the bit? end of the generation here. So now, we have to fight this Gurg. This Gurg is no, no ordinary foe. He's level 71. With anticipation, parry, accuracy, and desperate strength. He also has impulse wave, hellish slash, and D storm. D E storm. The ultimate Gurg technique takes energy from the fears of others and cl creates a realm of despair that saps the life of the target. It has a chance to cause instant death. So you don't want him to accumulate 250 SP because he will, and he will unleash that. You do not want that to happen. Now that we have Ellis back, um, we can actually use her, but unfortunately the battle preparation screen wasn't available to us, so we won't be able to uh, use her, <laughs> per se, for this battle. I mean, you'll have her, but you won't be able to use her. So, I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> just, just, yeah. But anyways, we're just gonna wait turn, accumulate more stuff. SP here. I'm just going to try and attack. Well, hmm. How much damage am I gonna do if I just do a couple of uh, attacks here? Let's just let her rip here. I don't think I'm gonna hurt him very much. No, look, the the life bar is not even moving very, very, very much. But let's go ahead and just like kind of weaken him up a little bit. To kind of, you know, at least make it so we can overkill him. Because we want to overkill this guy. I think he has parry, so parry is gonna activate. Yep, parry's activating right now. Counter. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. Ow! That hurt. Well, Pladius. I'm so sorry about that. One thing you do want to do, though, and not do something so silly like that. You want to actually make it so that... Well, you want to end your combo with a magic attack. That way, counter doesn't activate. Because counter only activates whenever he's hit with the last hit is a physical move. And that's when that's what it is. Think counter like a Pokemon. Execution. Now my parry's activating, jerk. <laughs> you won't be able to do anything. Sonic Wave, miss. Just waste your turn on that. That's one thing I really like seeing is whenever that happens. One thing, though, that um, the Gurg is doing, though, that I really am appreciative that he's doing, is he's just, he's wasting his, like, he, um, well, how can I describe this? He is, well, he's healing every turn. And since Perry's activating, that's really helpful. I actually kind of want him to heal. Just for a little bit, so that way I can unleash the moves on, on him. Let's go ahead and let, let her rip. 
Okay, so I kind of want to kind of just build up my SP a little bit. Two more grasses should do it. There we go. Now he's got 55. How much does Valeria have? 30, 37, 29, 42. I'll just wait. And I'm going to use a grass here. Now I have enough for 50. Okay. Take your voice. Now, you keep using grass. I know I'm, like, wasting my turn doing this, but... Really beneficial that I do this. There we go. Valeria. Um... Let's do recovery grass. I'll restock before the end of the episode. It's not what it doesn't really matter. Let's use grass. There we go. Sylvie, I'm not gonna worry about. I'm not gonna worry about her. Um, here we go. Recovery grass. Now, everybody should have over 50. She has cluster shot. Blast edge. Rush storm. Sting lust. Howling blade. There we go. Now I can just unleash everything on him. And our attack. There we go. Broken hit. Edge. I guess he can't reach it. Um. Well, shit. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and try this. I think I might be able to get him anyways. Cluster shot. Okay, his vitality went down too. That's another good thing. Cluster Shot lowers his vitality, which will make it easier to, you know, do more damage to him. Because his defense is down. Yeah, I'll be able to overkill him. I'll be able to, able to overkill him just fine. Sting Lust. Howling Blade. There we go. We have enough for overkill. You're dead, son. You are dead. You're you're done like dinner. Broken hint. Pack. We'll pack. Cross edge. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. There's actually a game called Cross Edge that Angie's doing right now on her channel right now. She's doing a walkthrough of a uh, Cross Edge right now. Which is another game by the, the same company. There we go. Gerg's dead. Generation Crystal. And a Ring of Inability. That's why you want to overkill him. The Ring of Inability is a really good item. There we go. And that only took... That didn't take very long at all. Now, Leo's a level 70. <laughs> Holy cow. Alright, let's increase the luck. And then be done with it. Fastor! Durin, stop. Why do you hold me back? You cannot catch him, but if you have little need to, there's but one place he can run. We have lost the Rainbow Shard, but we have found Ellis. There's nothing more for you to do in this world. Except, of course, create someone who will inherit your power. Reviri, are there no more Rainbow Shards? Old ones are disposed of. Even if we have kept one of the old shards, their power dissipates with time. It is the cycle that lasts for a hundred years, and will be uh, one hundred years before another rainbow shard appears. That is rather long to wait. We do not have sufficient time. I am sorry, Durin. 
All I could do was hold you back. I could not even comfort you. No matter. I am comforted to see as long as you... I'm comforted this so long as you are safe. Besides, I have given you plenty of trouble myself. Still, you are feeling apologetic. There's a number of things you could have take could take care of for me. Yes, you may leave the rest to us. Zerva, I must trust you that to see that you, that he is not as stubborn as I. Of course. But please, please, do not let him become a... I hesitate to say, man like Winfield. <laughs> that is the last thing I want. <laughs> Strong, yet kind. Honest. Able to feel the pain of others. That is the man I want my son to be. That is the man we all want him to be. Then let us return home. I could do with some rest and relaxa relaxation. Perhaps a hot spring. Yes, I can wash your hair again, like you, like when you were a child. I do not believe that will be necessary. You may wash my hair anytime you please. God, Winfield, seriously? Will wonders never cease? Cease. It would be an honor to serve you. If that is what my master wishes. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Why not indulge in a nice back massage? Indeed, that sounds like an excellent plan. And now that we have we have defeated the Gurg at Archer's Point, there's one last thing we need to do, and that's to seal the pillar of this continent. But before we end the episode, I'm going to take it. There's two events, as you guys can probably see. Well, yeah, there's two events here. I'm going to go ahead and take care of these. These are both uh, CGM images. So now, um, in order to get this one here at Tinnitus City, you need to be here before turn 100. And you have to not be light, and you have to have Hilda Affection of 5. So let's go ahead and move out to Tenedo City. Be it began simply enough with a game devised by Winfield, although that alone sh should have ho told anyone that no good com could come from it. The rules were simple. If, the if a man lost, he must strip to his underwear, but if a woman lost, she had to wear a bathing suit purchased by Winfield for a life-drawing session. Guess who lost? <laughs> Hilda lost. <sighs> how, how is this? Huh? What is that? That is enough. You shall have to be satisfied with this. <sighs> Tsk, why must I be the one that, to do this? You have made me go this far. Draw your foolish picture, but I swear, you will pay for this. <laughs> Well, he did pay for it. He technically did. He bought it. <laughs> so, by all technicality, he did pay for it. So, <laughs> But now, we have another event here. It is down here at Tagia. Emergent City Tagia. So, let's go ahead and move out here. <laughs> While Deshaun and Revere act with grace, for some reason, Qua is often compared with him. Qua then does something strange in front of them. Wow. Mmm, something smells good. And it's so big. Hey, can I have this? Alright. <laughs> munch, 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 munch. Whew. What? Why am I eating so properly? I thought perhaps I would be try being proper for a change. But you are right, this is no time for in inhibitions. In that case, here I go! Gosh, that's making me hungry a little bit. I haven't eaten anything yet, so... Now... After that, we have one last event here, and that is to seal the pillar of... in Hombre. 
So now we we can close this generation with with everything. So now we can just close this generation. So the next episode of Let's Play Record of Aggress War will be the last episode of the fourth generation. We are going to seal the seal seal the pillar of Unhombre. So I will see you guys then.